Ni hao, everybody. <laughs> Sorry, I just should roll. Dude, Andrew included me saying the R word like five times <laughs> last episode. I was like, Warner Brother. <laughs> if you see the police, Warner, Warner brother. brother. I love that shirt. <laughs> That's a great shirt. I know. Um, yeah, I was a little taken aback there. I was like, oh, I was really letting them fly. And Andrew, <laughs> I know he listened to that whole thing because he was editing the sound. He never occurred to him that that might be a little bit of a no-no. No. Whatever. It's a yes, yes. For me. <laughs> okay, good. Well, I'm not going to open the comments. Um, Hopefully everyone likes it. <laughs> um, um, well, oh, this is fuck. awkward. Uh, my bit is uh, I fucked up my bit. I was gonna dress like an Indian dude today, <laughs> but I like I, I would have had to steam the whole thing. Dude, it uh, seems yeah. like everybody's bit is getting fucked up. You didn't even notice Johnny's bit. His glasses? <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? What's his fit? His mustache has a gap in the middle. No, he has a mustache. I a must I'm rocking the mustache. Just a mustache, you know. Oh, okay. It, has, I, I did it always kind of, has a gap in the middle. I did kind of, you're so anti Hitler that you just <laughs> refuse to Naturally grow hair my, right there. He drew a re, he grew a reverse Hitler. It's, a reverse, it's called the reverse Hitler. You did not notice that. It's a when I walked in, I was just staring at him. He's yeah, he was. And Johnny got all self conscious. I was just staring at him and not saying anything. And Johnny's like, "Yeah, just grew a mustache for fun. I might shave it in an hour." I said, uh, "I said." I'm gonna leave it for a couple days. Well, you usually have a mustache. You just also usually have usually Scruff, have some yeah. like yeah, random but shit. You going notice, on dude. You should notice. Well, it's the fucking glasses. They're distracting. I noticed. I noticed. Oh. I noticed, Johnny. Thanks. I noticed. Thanks. Good. The Thanks good. luck. My n new brand new nephew was a little taken back by it. Really? Yeah. He understood there was something different. So some, you're saying yeah, an infant different. has more perceptive capabilities than Colin? I guess so. <sighs> Damn. So you got this Bev for me, Colin? I asked Colin to get me a sugar-free Red Bull. Oh, yeah. Um, I got you a sugar-free Red Bull. I just got you the eight-ounce one. It was uh, cheaper. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> I was, you, can, I, you can mix it with... I got myself the, one, too. The regular Red this Bull. This is actually probably the correct amount of Red Bull. Wait, so you got you and Johnny Red Bulls and you didn't get me one? Well, you asked for a beverage. You what did, did not ask for a Red Bull. What did I get? You didn't get shit. I called you and told you they didn't have the thing you asked for and asked you if you wanted something different and you said no. Well, I thought You'll maybe a sugar-free Red Bull would be a good apology for you letting me down. Well, you got, you brought your own fork. Yeah, well, he didn't know he that. Didn't. At That's time. true. He didn't know that. He didn't know I thought that. maybe you had figured something for yourself out as far as and energy goes. Clearly, I did. He did. I yeah, did. he did. I did. Yeah. So, whatever. No harm, no foul. So, Joe, what's the what's the story behind this tequila you got here? Oh, I was wondering why you were asking me a question. <laughs> Colin never asks so me questions. Um, well, they already kind of know. But um, yeah, so basically when my, on my birthday, my dad got me this tequila. It's like $80 or something. Um, uh, and there's a little story with the tequila. He told me that he went into a liquor store to buy my birthday gift for me. Mm-hmm. And he asked for the world genius <laughs> discount, and the person, the clerk, looked at him in a in a very befuddled manner. <laughs> it turns out he went to the wrong liquor store. I don't know where he went, but he didn't go to Ranch Spirits. So, so I, th if, I think he explained the situation after and was like, "Oh, I'm in the wrong place or whatever," yeah. but bought it anyway. But pretty pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. I thought I told them that, but no. I guess I never saw so, it. So, guys, go to your local liquor store and ask for the World Genius discount and see what happens. You, you might you just get 30% off. Mesa, but if you do, or Orange County in general, go to Ranch Spirits, guys. Beautiful store. Beautiful time. Beautiful <sighs> women in there every time we go in. Every time. They gave me a free bottle of $70 tequila. To take wow. to my sister's wedding. They did? Wow. Yeah. That's freaking amazing. For his sister's wedding. Yeah. Can they you care. believe that? They care about family. They have family values there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a real American store. Get the whole family wasted. Yeah. That's they nice. really do care. When I when I was there last, I saw Gio give a bike to a homeless guy. <laughs> <laughs> he gifted him a bike. Wow. An e-bike. 
Wow. He just gave it to him. He said, I was listening to the last pod pod we did, and we and we end up di- discussing homeless people quite often. He, oh, really? Yeah. Huh. You guys notice that ever? Well, a lot of all, conver- all I'm saying, a lot of conversational spirits roads giving out to the e-bikes. homeless. Geo at Ranch Spirits giving out e-bikes involuntarily. Voluntarily, wow. it was a gift. It was a gift. It was like a That's beautiful amazing. moment that I witnessed. I wonder how much meth that he was able to trade that e-bike for. Good bartering. And I, I wonder if he like made yeah. a good deal or how much he wanted the meth. He's like, just give me w- one <laughs> little piece. I'm desperate. I'll trade you for this no, entire no. e-bike. That's not the situation. Oh, it's, it's not just what a happened. Gift of is just charitable. Dude, speaking of homeless guys, I was there's a homeless guy outside the local Seven Eleven. I I had a what is that Japanese like hot pot place downtown Santa Ana called? Kaizen. Ooh, Kaizen, yeah, that place. I went there and then I was kind of drunk and I went to Seven Eleven after and there was a guy sitting there. who was like, let me get a ride. Let me get a ride. And I like like just like stepped over him pretty uh-huh. much because he was in the way. And then on the way out, he. He was on the floor and he went, I let you pass. Give me a ride. <laughs> and I was like, this guy is like on his it's last like damn troll. dollar. I was like, I ate fucking 150 grams of protein today, bro. Like, I'll, I'll square dance with you if you want. Like, but he's like, I let you pass. I'm like, dude, you, you let me pass. You're slightly obstructing the way sitting on the floor. But... Yeah, I hate when when fucking those homeless get all uppity with you. Yeah, yeah. they do be pain in the when ass. When we were in L.A., did we talk about the guy coughing that was like laying sideways yeah, across did. the sidewalk, yeah. Yeah. coughing? It's a good strategy to like charge a toll so you don't get coughed on. You know, he's like, <laughs> I won't cough while you're passing if you give me a dollar, throw me a buck, you yeah. know, give me a big coin. Otherwise, I cough extra, you know, <laughs> while you pass. <laughs> I'd never had that happen to me before, though. A guy go like, "I let you pass," <laughs> yeah. and I also had, uh, I was like, "Dude, I, I had my dog in my car too." I was like, "I can't even imagine like Monster's reaction to a a, a man getting in your a car. random <laughs> dude getting in the back seat." Oh my god! And she <laughs> listen, she I'm not like I don't know. It's her problem, not mine. But she does have a where dislike did, for the homeless. Where did he want to go? I have no idea. I, I was like. And I was with Beatrix, at, uh, and and she was like, "Oh, I feel so bad." And I was like, "Dude, he needs to learn how to use the fucking bus, yeah. Like instead of threatening people to get in their cars, <laughs> it's, like it's, it's so sad." I was like, "He he needs to like, I mean, look, a being homeless strategy. obviously fucking sucks, but you got to like figure out how to do it if you're gonna do it." Is he, is he in a rush to get somewhere? I don't know. Maybe, may, yeah, maybe he needed to maybe, be somewhere quickly. Also, he, usually people don't do things unless there's a fucking incentive for them on the other end. Like, what are you going to do for me if I give you a ride? Yeah. You know what I mean? My my he advice for homeless people is if you're like <laughs> yeah, kind of a, get a ride. <laughs> if you're kind of a zany character and you're a homeless person, mm. go like offer to sweep at a tattoo shop and oh. there's like a few tattoo shops around the country Sweet, huh? I know of that like have like a a homeless guy that hangs out and he'll like sweep really and they'll exploit them for views on Instagram and stuff oh, like right, that right you know? right it's right it's like right, kind right. of like a shop character right and then he like gets like mascot. flame broiler twice a week yeah and they and oh. then they'll give him some cash or cigarettes or weed nice. or something in nice. order or tattoos. One of my friends tattoos his homeless shop. Really? Hang around guy. Yeah. Whoa. Wow. Yeah. That's kind of sick. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't. I probably wouldn't be super into getting tattoos if I didn't own or a have home. access to a shower twenty four seven. But what do I know? You you win some, you dim some. You take what you can. <laughs> you get. win some, you dim some arm off <laughs> as it rots away. <laughs> oh, I didn't get about the cleanliness aspect. Yeah, that's of what it. I'm yeah. saying. Yeah, yeah, caring for a that's tattoo. That's true. Yeah, but maybe they just clean it off at the tattoo shop. You know. Yeah, maybe I don't know. What isn't there maintenance involved though? Not maybe really. For a little bit. Okay. Well, what are, I just know when yeah, people get tattoos, right. they have the fucking tin char- foil wrapped it adds around character it. Character to the tattoo. Yeah, you have a little a scarring happening. Speaking right. of tattoos, that I t- talked about it briefly to you guys. I got an ad on Instagram the other day for this guy who is. Some people do like tattoo raffles and stuff. They'll oh do like fuck yeah, raffles so funny. This guy had this long 
multi-paragraph post talking about how he's doing a tattoo raffle <laughs> and it's just a blatant scam. Uh, I don't know if he's ever going to actually should, you should do say the his tattoos. Name. You should say his name. I'll find it on Instagram, but let me let me say what the scam was. He was selling raffle tickets for $100. He $100? says $100? $100 for a ticket, a raffle ticket. <laughs> Is and it's then, like for a fat piece, though, right? Like a thousand dollar tattoo. He said, yeah. "Well, yeah." He says the value of the tattoo is uh, at least three six, tickets, sixteen hundred dollars. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah. then later on in the post, he's like. I'll be selling 50 tickets at $100 a piece. <laughs> He's like, I just want to give people the opportunity to get a, a large scale tattoo that's like worth like $1,600, even if they can't like af- afford that really. Dude, so <laughs> fuck. But, or just take $100 from somebody dude, that can't yeah. afford also, it. Also, if you can afford to just like piss $100 into the nether, you can uh, probably afford $1,600 Six, yeah. on a tattoo. Yeah. Unless you're just like really If you really dumb. want a $1,600 tattoo. Yeah, get that shit on layaway. So I was funny. I was thinking like, that sounds like not legal. I, I was saying to him, I was like, I, I, I don't know, like it's but that framing is so criminal, it's so insane. Well, I want to give pretty people popular. an opportunity. I want to, I want the opportunity to make five thousand, five thousand dollars for a thousand dollars worth of work. Yeah. That's what I want the opportunity yeah. to do. Very, very crazy. <laughs> yeah, we very should expose funny. this guy. Yeah, let me, and we should send Instagram. hate to his Instagram page. That's I sent really it to myself. Well, let me see, let me see if I can find. Time it. we start using our platform for good. Yeah, that shit made me. I mean, you can't do that and loud. and have nothing happen. Yeah, no, like it's all, uh, terrible. Maybe do a raffle for a free tattoo. Yeah, that's that would be nice. Or a discounted tattoo. Or or Wait. or like make the raffle like ten dollars. Yeah, well, a lot of people do it where they're, where they're like a tattoo give. It's a giveaway where Fall, like yeah, you, you follow me, follow I'm giving away free and tattoo. share, repost, repost, repost. Give it. It will give you a tattoo. But this guy is doing a whole. Oh yeah, this. this. Hey everyone, I wanted to let you know that there's going to be a tattoo raffle half, happening. This is something that I really care about, <laughs> and I wanted to have a way for. People to be able to get a tattoo without having to spend a fortune. Mm. So ridiculous. So the raffle is going to be worth $1,600. And there will be a total of 50 people available to participate. With each ticket being $100. (laughs) So ridiculous. Can can you like almost go to Disneyland with that? Big C tattoos. But there's like a bunch of underscores how many likes could does that have 66 nobody comments no comments no he's probably comments. deleting comments maybe he's probably deleting comments probably because as soon as one person reads that comment that was Math. thinking about it that's gonna tank well, his for, the one true. the one thing i will say is there's no way 50 people are actually gonna fucking do it mm, and there's yeah. also no way he would cap it at 50 yeah Probably not. No. Well, there's so also why would no... he even say that? He should just say like because oh, he's like... A- he's acting like there's like an exclusivity aspect yeah. to it. So you like, oh, I need to do it now before you know time runs out. Yeah, that's there's... why he's doing it. It's it's yeah. everybody everybody that's dumb. I was like what I was complaining about with John Hill selling his stupid comics. Yeah, comics. Everybody that is like you know trying to fool peasants is always like you need to buy it now before it goes away and they're like oh god all right there's a fucking timer on the page yeah exactly exactly gets me every time fuck (laughs) 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 oh man you guys didn't even ask me much about my weekend oh yeah the wedding indian wedding oh i thought we talked about it already not on the podcast oh was that like the third wedding that we covered instead of the fourth one Fourth part of the wedding, dude. No, I went to a party. The wedding that semifinals. Was, that was that was the Barat that I went to oh. two weeks ago, which is the, the Indian dance party. Uh, there was another Barat. <laughs> um, we didn't. We skipped that one, huh? This shit was. I didn't even. Sh- you guys, you guys probably saw videos and shit. Yeah. So everybody's been talking about it. Yeah, I went viral for being <laughs> an Indian for dressing like an Indian dude for being a fake Indian. People loved it, dude. People were like et- making edits of me, and <laughs> some kid put me on his story. Really? Me as an Indian, yeah, it was uh, really a lot of fanfare. I feel like we need to work on our uh, like 
our our cultural sensitivity. Okay, vocabulary. one guy did say, "Is this like allowed? Are you allowed to?" And this is a guy that just follows me. Are you allowed to just dress like an Indian? You're like I'm in the family now. And so I go, yes. "Dude, what what if I didn't dress like an Indian yeah. to the Indian wedding? <laughs> what kind of message would You're that?" The send? only guy in a tuxedo there. <laughs> Um, so yeah, my sister married an Indian dude, Tanvir, and they had probably like a fucking half of a million dollar wedding weekend Jesus that Christ. was uber fucking lit. It was like a three day dance party. Um, the there was an Indian wedding and there was a white wedding, wedding and uh, really you guys did a white one too. Yeah, we did a white wedding. How was the budget uh, on the white one? It was, dude, it was on the PGA golf course. Whoa! And then we were like the part, wow. the dance floor was like in the PGA, like golf course clubhouse, and Jeez, they had a vibey please. ass like. This was for EDM. the white section. Yeah, for the white wedding, we had this like vibey ass DJ. That dance floor was fucking wild, dude. I was on shrooms and super hammered. There was an open bar, having the time of my life, and uh, somehow I ended up on fucking ecstasy. And somehow. everybody was <laughs> somehow Colin, Some, somehow. No, known person who says yes to ecstasy, <laughs> um, somehow ended up taking is, ecstasy again. Yeah, well, no, it's Molly. Sorry, um, <laughs> but dude, I've been so fucking fried. Like my serotonin levels for the last week is is insane. I've been on a fucking. I've been on like EDM Reddit trying to figure <laughs> out how to restore my serotonin levels like yeah. i'm 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 like 100 sworn off i've said this like every time i've ever done this shit i'm not able to take this drug it like or any drug for that matter anytime i take a drug then i have like a three week come down where i'm just depressed Fuck and useless that, dude so uh it was worth it i'd say but <laughs> colin facetimed me at like the end of the night and his eyes were rolling back in the back of his head every like five seconds, like <laughs> clockwork. He was like mid sentence and his eyes just go. It was fucking uber lit. Uber lit. I've been so depressed ever since. <laughs> uh, the Indians know how to fucking party. They go fucking Not 10 the ones times I harder. With. Yeah, they go, <laughs> they go 10 times harder than all of us combined. And uh, that's sick. Wow. I'm so, so thankful that. I have You're Indian hundreds now. of Indian cousins now. Wow. And they're all high achieving doctors yep. that can rage. Colin's gonna be moving up a couple tax brackets. Yeah, I'm gonna be I'm he's gonna, gonna quit I'm gonna be taken care of. He's gonna That's quit beautiful. construction and you're gonna be a realtor. They don't want or something? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get in the mortgage industry. You guys oh, are gonna, hell it's gonna yeah. be wow. a boner yeah, alert. Mortgage mortgage money. industry. It's gonna be it's gonna be a very hustler vibe. Yeah, over here. That's what I'm going to be. <sighs> That's I'm going to have like Gucci sunglasses and talk about hustling. That's cool. I was thinking, Hustle mentality. I, th I was thinking we could look at my expense report for a segment. <laughs> okay. Or do you guys just want to see how much money I'm trying to write off? Yeah. Or, the, all right, let me, I'll just tell you guys. Um, <laughs> I just made it. It's I just found out I can write off my union dues. And I'm like, no, why did nobody fucking tell me that? That seems like they should tell you that. When okay, they... I spent $492 Damn, on gas, $730 on hotels, $2,725 on flight, taxi, and Uber, $3,300 on car repairs, $2,800 on cell phone bills, $438 on Shopify fees, Seven thousand six hundred eighty dollars in equipment. Yeah, that's true. Um, seven hundred twenty-eight dollars on internet. A thousand one thousand nine hundred sixty-four dollars on subscriptions. <laughs> so what? Brazzers. On, um, <laughs> <laughs> One of each. And then this is this thing's titled as uniform. But it's just clothes. I spent four thousand four hundred forty-eight dollars on clothes, and then eight thousand nine hundred sixty-seven dollars on office expense, which is just like if you lease a place and you also work there, you work from home, you get to like calculate the square footage and be like, "This is the part I use for work." Uh -huh. So, and then I'm confused about the gas. The gas seems low. Yeah, I don't really know. I don't really keep good track of it. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I seven hundred dollars or something. I go. So what do you need like a paper trail for? Is what this, do you mean? Did they? Did your tax person just say like, give me numbers? It was like when uh, 
much. You need receipts. Well, yeah. When no, I mean, I I have all of my uh, I have all of my uh, all the like the transactions oh, yeah. on my debit okay, card. Okay. Yeah. 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 So yeah. that I don't have the physical receipts. Yeah. So you probably should do that, but it's not like really that required. Wow. So I thought you had to do that. It turns out you don't actually have to wow. really do that. So, so what is knew? what kind of uh, you're not getting a kickback? You just, just no, no, no. Pay less. I get a good kickback. <laughs> <laughs> no, I get a kickback, but the government oh, takes no. like half my paycheck every fucking week. No, no, yeah, that's not how it works for me. They're gonna they're gonna take a lot of money from me. <laughs> they're gonna take a lot of money. <laughs> See, my accountant literally sent me a text message that says I have a a, a lady accountant. I have. Uh -huh. a, she said you owe a lot of taxes. Frowny face. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, you know you can uh, set it up so you like pay quarterly yeah yeah we're, we're, we're figuring that shit out. there's so many different things to like do that I, I and i hate doing all of them so mm -hmm. we're we're gonna do them but i gotta go to wells fargo and you then gotta, I, you're you're learning the hard way you're talking about <sighs> chores yeah, i don't know kind of i mean i'm uh, whatever chores i just thought it'd be funny to share that it'll be even funnier when i tell you guys how much they're gonna charge me <laughs> that'll be good i mean it, it's gotta be a lot we live in fucking california they and i'm a youtuber just, they fuck you uh, dude when i when i was doing all the paperwork for my car he goes and 1600 for gavin newsom <laughs> 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 he was like the old white dude. That's funny. <laughs> he goes 1600 for Gavin Newsom. <laughs> so funny. I started laughing. Uh, yeah, uh, he needs we his shared cut. a chuckle after that. He um, needs his cut. Yeah. Uh <laughs> Collins drugs tie into this. We got a lot of comments cuz I was talking about the weed. I want to get weed, but it's all too strong and people were like just go to the dispensary and ask for the bottom shelf stuff. I'm like, what you and guys have don't the understand. lady with big eyelashes <laughs> laugh at me? <laughs> no, you, you don't understand the bottom shelf stuff. Still, it's gonna nuke way my, too I, crazy. I want, I want the my bottom honky, shelf yeah. twenty times removed. I want the bottom shelf stuff Distant. twenty years ago. The the bottom shelf's great 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 grandfather. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so just buying bottom shelf, I appreciate. Well, actually, no, I don't appreciate because yeah, yeah. that's assuming that I'm just so stupid yeah, that I don't no, understand. I, I don't. That... I don't like when people leave like you know act like the answer is obvious yeah. to something that has well, been. Well, they weren't heavily listening to the point where we were saying what we want does Doesn't not exist, exist yes. and we must create. Yes. yes, you're not. Yeah, you're not getting it's like, fucking it's tumbleweed. Like, it's like we're fucking uh, recreating a dinosaur from scratch. Right. You know, like <laughs> it's exactly like just because there's a fucking chicken breeding. right now. Yeah, basically, chickens, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just because there's chickens right now doesn't mean they that say that dinosaurs. the T Rex had hair, hair and feathers. feathers? They, say they, they feathers. change that every feathers. like two weeks. But they're saying that, and I think that'd be kind of cool. That would be super trippy. It was true because I'm saying it had um uh, a a bape. A bape hoodie? <laughs> bape hoodie, yeah. I'm saying the T-Rex had a bape hoodie. Um, yeah. <laughs> now what? And a Neff beanie. <laughs> <laughs> so. we sh Dude, that should be... So we got a comment that said uh, more dress-up episodes. Mm -hmm. Well, I tried Speaking to Speaking of tax up. expenditures... Costumes. Three, ba three bape hoodies. <laughs> we do an episode in bape. Can you write off energy drinks? See, I think like food and drink is kind of tricky. If... Okay... If I wanted to, if I wanted to say order from uh, Panda Express and we were going to eat it on camera, mm. I think I could count that as a business, business. meal. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So maybe we should just start getting corner, ba <laughs> corner bakery catering for every episode. That's, that's and, and, and unless I spend like $5,000 on it at the end of the year, she goes, So this show makes you money? <laughs> <laughs> they go, uh, was that required? <laughs> it's making it money, is a, technically. It, <laughs> making gonna, making, it's making Andrew a, filthy rich. A hundred air. <laughs> Multi hundred air. Mr. Uh, Bands, Andrew. Mr. Ban Bandrew Banderson. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> That'd be so cool if Andrew like pulled the Elvis and Elvis's manager move. What was, did Elvis's manager do? Just fucking had him uh, under his thumb. He nice. had him drugged up and stole all of his money. The classic manager move. 
That's what's up. Goals. So, Andrew, drug us up. You know, keep us preoccupied. Yeah. Get us from point A to point B, and you can have it all. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew just driving us around in Johnny's new van while we're all, like, in the back on beanbags bouncing off the fucking walls. Yeah. We're like, Dude, I, we need to make it to crypto.com <laughs> arena for your live podcast. <laughs> oh, and I was talking to Joe. I got it like a little cargo van, one of the, like the small cargo vans. And I was like, I know we want a new camera for the set. We need a new shot and everything. But what if we just get my car wrapped world <laughs> genius style? That's an in, that's called an investment. Let's we'll get it graffitied. Uh yeah, I could do that. Yeah, I want it, it to look bad. like a brain. Once we get the new yeah, <laughs> the full, world genius full brain logo. wrap and then we'll do an updated logo. Yeah, world genius logo. And we'll put in that the shit. in brain texture. Oh, you know what? Yeah. We need to talk about it. We have a Patreon now, guys. Oh, oh shit. shit. Uh, Yo, subscribe though. We are, we're guys. working on we're, we have original content on there. We've got a lot of original content. We have a lot we of have, stolen we, content we have, on there as well. We, we have just all re-upload the, us on Piker streams. We have all the, uh, <laughs> and the he, original his content makes us money. So we're gonna be watching um Brave Wilderness, that guy that gets stung by uh creatures. We're just we'll be watching those. You'll get to see our reaction. Take to a those shot videos. every time he gets stung. Yeah. We have all the old episodes of World Genius. All of them. All the ones that we do not want on the internet anymore. It's crazy all those big pieces. Like it, dude, people, like, once they don't have access to something anymore, they're like, I fucking loved that episode <laughs> where you yeah, guys I, talked I'm... about, like, action figures <laughs> that you played with as kids. <laughs> like, what happened to that? <laughs> I needed that. That one was, I rewatched that one four <laughs> times. It's funny when I'll get comments from people like, dude, that's my comfort video that you made. I'm like... That's like how many you disgusting. it's crazy to me that people like watch something that I'm in like six times. You know, it's weird to think about. I definitely comfort videos. I get that. Gross. I get that. No, I get it too. I get it too. But I, it is it's weird to be the person in the video that yeah. somebody fi- you know like you is? find me comforting. It's, it, it, it's it needs to be like a a 20 to 30 minute long video. And you haven't watched it in like a year and you really liked it the first time you watched it. You can mm-hmm. re-enjoy it after a year. Do you guys ever uh, listen to the pod and then like you from like when you were talking like three weeks ago and you hear yourself talk and be like, oh my God, that's so funny that I said that. <laughs> or like, oh, that's so true. <laughs> like, that's hilarious. I forgot that I think that. <laughs> like, do you ever, does that ever happen to you? I was I listening listen, to ours. Really? really? I've gotten uh-uh. worse. I listen, I listen gotten, to it today. I've gotten worse and I've gotten... Uh, more disinterested worse. but i realize it's because we need to keep working to improve the podcast that is true yeah. because when we don't improve anything it just our numbers are stagnating it, it gets it gets depressing like i need to like be I, we need to be like actively like doing something like yeah when we, we were need making to be building or making the studio or something like, yeah, like yeah. It, we need it, the it, next it, level it what's makes, the next it, level it puts a little fire in my I, heart i think well you don't have a fire for making patreon videos but i've been I really have a fire for going it. to my nine to five no you don't yeah i hate it <laughs> yeah so you should be the fire should be You're so right. you can not Fuck. do nine to five Guys. i've been really enjoying our uh me and joa's Solo I videos. Like, I We'd like love for you to be a part. I like the Patreon content idea because there's a Good lot of idea. stuff that's just like literally just too hack to actually put on your YouTube channel. But well, it would actually can, be it's actually just like a funny idea. And we can like listen to music and stuff or like watch you can use the there's Avengers like theme stuff. song for your intro if you want to on Patreon. Yeah. And there's no, there's nothing they can do. I would I, I would us. be down to watch full movies on Patreon. That would be so fucking funny. <laughs> oh my god. Are you allowed to there's yeah. there has to be a way that you can host a full video. There there's a way. I don't know. We'll I, have to figure it out. I well, don't, you just screen record you watching the movie. No, it's not OBS. about the technical way that it works. It's about legality. Like a a video hosting site picking up the fact that you're streaming <laughs> a Wonka. Full, a full yeah. movie. Yeah, yeah. Like, their full movie. Well, yeah. Vimeo it's Paramount Pictures. Vimeo will probably snitch. Those fucking bastards. No, pa- like Patreon's why? direct if Vimeo upload might why? not snitch. Uh, you know who won't snitch for show? Rumble. <laughs> 
They'll I, snitch. I think they They'll snitch. snitch. No. A full they movie. Copy, they is copyright Fox. shit that gets streamed onto their stuff if you put it on YouTube. A full movie is kind of crazy. Sometimes I when I when I put watch. Street League stuff on YouTube, like, and they'll they'll copyright it, um, which is a funny thing. But they'll copyright it and they'll say like, UFC slap box tournament has claimed your video because <laughs> the, the UFC owns Street League. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it's funny. This. Uh, do you guys know Ricky Glazer? Yep. Yeah. You know him? Okay. No, but he, only from your. Yeah. He. Uh, realm. I, I'll stream street league stuff onto youtube when it's mm. happening and they let me do it they don't they don't strike me uh -huh. but like he whenever like the last two times i've done it he's been in the chat and he, he's been like be careful you'll get a strike on your channel <laughs> i'm like they're not letting ricky do it but they're letting me do it <laughs> They're That's scared. So funny. They're scared. That's so funny. I think they're just they're, no, no. They're, they're not scared. The, the no, guys they at don't the want tournament. You to yell at them. No, no. The guys at the tournament watch my streams as the thing is happening. I've been told that oh, really? before. Yeah, guys that are there. Like so, uh, I don't know. Last time somebody was the coach of the like the U.S. men's team or whatever. I was like, they're watching your stream <laughs> as it's like actually happening. That's pretty funny. Yeah, it's it is funny. So well, they, I think they, I think it's just wow. like you don't want like guys that you think are whack like associated with your okay. product or whatever yeah so yeah. you uh if you're an elite beast streamer then you're allowed the forbidden <laughs> the forbidden fruit wow well maybe paramount pictures will have the same <laughs> <laughs> vibe and with warner us warner brothers will cut us some slack uh, like these guys are pretty funny yeah, actually let's chill. let them live let's... react um to so no country for so old men 33 patreon people 30 Oh yeah, not not too bad. Not too bad. Not Things wow. are really good. Things that, are that, and we haven't even really talked about it. I wanted. To, we should do a promo video for where we we yeah. do like a little super cut of all the stuff, all, all the, the all the, all the content, funny goofy stuff, all the funny goofy stuff that they're missing out on. Down, bro. By not subscribing to I'm our down. Patreon at World Genius on Patreon. We can guys. do snippets and stuff too. Yeah, of our finest let's, moments. Let's snip that. We should. Shit up. We should. But also. I'm so bummed. I came up with the best prank call idea, but it's like too late. I want to prank call. It's too up, late? But everybody so, should do is this. Is it in on the a dead guy? Section. No, because they're closed. Oh. I want to prank call up <laughs> I mean, today, a deluxe that like uh, reusable clothes store. Like it's like it's dude, like a hipster. Uh, your girlfriend's sister yeah, works yeah, there. Yeah, I don't care. That's where I came up with this idea. Oh. Uh, they so sell you, like the okay. stupidest shit. Like, right? They have like con, like corduroy converse and mm -hmm. shit like that. I want to like call them and just describe the stupidest shit. Like, <laughs> like, do you guys have like uh, Doc Martens, but they have like they're fuzzy on the inside? I swear I saw them. <laughs> or like, <laughs> it's just like, like, did you do you guys still have? Like, See if you strike gold once. No, just like, just make up just the stupidest hipster bullshit. Mm -hmm. Like. Do you guys have like, running uh, shoes? Do you guys have the color? Do you guys eyes? have the color block Converse high ultra high tops still? <laughs> ultra high tops. <laughs> the thigh high. Do <laughs> you remember those? <laughs> thigh high. My Converse. sister used oh. to wear so those. The worst, so the wild. worst aesthetic is that uh, like the Teddy Fresh yes. type vibe. Mm, yes, and I feel like they have that kind of shit mm. in there. Mm. They have good stuff. I got a nice sure. flannel in there. They once. do have good stuff, but I, nice I, I, I personally have problems with used clothes. Well, I, I think mean, about the previous owner. Thrift, go, thrift store, fucking like hat, like try to be kind of hit places that aren't will buy the stupidest shoes ever. Yeah, like, it's like why? Are you, why are you guys buying corduroy? Con it's like, dude, does nobody bring in anything good, and you guys just want to have some kind of? Or shoes? they're like, they're like the Jordans that are cool, but they're. They've got they're they're creased and yeah, they're, they're just a, disgusting. A weird yeah. colorway. It looks like some dude like got full usage out of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm not not some a big guy, not a big used, used shoe guy some myself. Guy walked hundreds of miles in these <laughs> in these I'm Jordans. Not, not interested, dude. I was looking for cam these camo pants for a long time, and I had to go to one of the the hipster vintage yeah. stores. This they still weren't super expensive, but they were. More than I was hoping. They're like twenty five bucks. Oh, that's that's bad. very reason. That's like yeah. the best you could but possibly like, hope to pay for. Well, except for yourself. Goodwill. Goodwill pants are yeah, like but eight dude, bucks. I mean, it, when it comes to Goodwill, it's like what is 
what did what do, how do you value your yeah. own time no i definitely like if you want to spend six hours I driving to different goodwills there. i can't i there's something i get anxious about for the sure air in there it's not worth it to me i i enjoy yeah. going to thrift stores Colin's asthmatic. Yeah. But I don't like going I like to going to thrift ones. stores too, but you know, I almost feel like if I have like two distinct like distinguished of an idea of what I want to buy, it'll make it like less enjoy. Like if yeah. I went to a thrift store and I was like, I need camo pants, like I would just have a terrible time. Oh, yeah, well, because you know? well, even like if you find camo pants, they're probably not gonna be in on the off chance, they probably won't even be in your fucking size. Yeah. I I've chased I told the you dragon. guys about my tux thing why i started believing oh. god in god for like a couple of days uh-huh I, I when i moved to new york it's been a while since i've had that happen yeah when i moved to new york it's just a phase there was like a, and goes. a thrift store right around the corner from my house and i was like i want to buy like a suit or like a tux or something so i went to this thrift store the one as close to my house it's like two buildings away from my mm-hmm. house i walk in there i go to the suits and i'm like i'm just gonna pick one out I don't really care about if it fits great or not. I'll check it out. I just reach into the suit section. Mm-hmm. There's a section with probably 15 suits. Don't tell me you got the perfect suit. Pull out this tux. <laughs> it's and it fits me perfectly. Like no. it was tailored. It's, it's already tailored. No. Like it was tailored. Well, it doesn't fit me anymore because I'm huge, huge. now. And Johnny's, got, massive. and Johnny's got a fat ass and skinny little legs, so. His legs aren't well, that skinny. My legs dude. aren't that they skinny, were skinny, bro. They were. Um, he's doing they Helen. Actually weren't he's that doing skinny. Helen backs on like someone. Yeah. I we, do um, ATG split squats. Oh, you do ATG? Yeah. Ass touching gay squats. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. So. Uh, yes. It's about, they're, speaking they're of gay, you need to you. do some Helen backs. Speaking buddy. of gay. On Twitter, I saw a drama alert post. Oh, no. Adam twenty two seen walking with gay guy. What? <laughs> yeah, they, someone took Somebody, a video. Of Adam Go, 22. Adam! What are you doing? And he's just walking his dog, and there's a gay guy. In yeah, the he's walking him. with a gay guy. But <laughs> what do you mean he's walk like just he's a- like walking down? It's sunny out. He's walking his dog, and beside him is a gay man. How do you know he's gay? Was he wearing pink? <laughs> it was <laughs> I he know. was wearing like I'll show short, you short like thing. like teal sweat shorts that were like he may, six he and might a half be inches. a known gay guy and also. somebody was like and someone filmed had a him. problem with and that well, like, yeah that's the funniest well, part no is, I think it's these like uh fresh and fit type like these like inside yeah, or yeah. uh or red yeah, pill Jack, the Jack red pill Doherty. they they think that he's Jack gay Doherty? because yeah so oh yeah yeah someone yeah. tell Tell me why my brother was caught walking a dog with my gay brother was uh, caught walking a dog with Adam Twenty Two. I don't know Jack but... Doherty's gay brother. <laughs> that guy, he didn't even look that gay. He's definitely gay. He's wearing jean, cut off the like, teal shorts. I mean, he's definitely uh, gay, but there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I, I know. Just, I... <laughs> That's the point. Is there's nothing, but the thing is that Adam I don't twenty-two understand probably any of this. And Adam twenty-two is, is probably like this guy is uh, the hottest up-and-coming rapper out of uh, Detroit right mm-hmm. now. That maybe the, it's his game. This is why it just set off weird. Well, yeah, vibes the, the, for the me. whole like the the whole like kick, you know, rumble like stream like dudes that are just like they are like openly like really homophobic and yeah. transphobic and like that's their that's their meme Shtick. you know yeah. and it's like that's their it fucking is very funny like, thing it, it it's is like, like seventh grade well style it's just like homophobia yeah i mean that that being like an acceptable i just said gay ass touching so i guess i'm not looking too hot here <laughs> but like that whole style of just like you know a bunch of guys like sitting around going like oh pause that's gay bro like yeah. and that that's their thing it's like oh it's like oh adam 22 seen with a gay guy it's like what you guys like <laughs> Not like you guys want to kill every gay person. It's it's like, what do you or do you unreal. like want them to live in a separate fucking society or something? It's bizarre. Well, you yeah, shouldn't be and walking also, with a str- if dude, you're a straight guy, you I shouldn't mean, be walking with a gay guy. Obviously. Well, also, Adam Twenty Two lives in freaking like Hollywood, probably, and uh, right. like every like other dude is you're, gay. You're in their d- d- domain yeah, right now. Yeah, you what better you not complaining have a about with that shit. 
They all get jumped. They're all jacked as fuck, and they all go to yeah. Equinox. Yeah, they do. And we know all about Equinox. We know, about Equinox. we know they all go to Equinox, and we know that they're all fucking just snatched. Epic cock at Equinox. You. Come get your epic cock at Equinox. You. God. That brings me to... I want to do a uh, viewer-submitted workout playlist, mm-hmm. but the caveat is not just anyone can send in a workout song to this playlist. You also have to send in a gym selfie. <laughs> so we see how jacked you are. And then you get to show we the, see song, the efficacy of your playlist. And then we review them as like a package deal. We go, right. well, this guy looks like this. And the song is This is your good. song. You're going to have to put your best foot forward. It's your best workout song at ATM. And <laughs> how jacked you are. Fast to mouth. Uh, <laughs> and also, uh, oof, totally forgot what I was going to say. Dude, that's, that's totally fine. fine. I think this idea is good. All right. You're so here oh, first. Oh, 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 it's <laughs> okay. back. It's so, it Jesus was, Christ. it was not even important. I was going to say, That's this like, sounds like a really good idea. Does. Um, I was gaming with my friend today. I found out you can get discounts on gym memberships if you have health insurance. Did you guys know about this? I, I learned about it Gavin with you today. Newsom, dude. Do you have health insurance, Joe? I, I have Blue Cross, actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're, we both have Blue Cross. <laughs> yeah. Poggers. For $28 a month, we can get a gym membership that gives us access to LA Fitness, 24-hour fitness. Oh, I heard about this. And all of them. So we can go together. We can start playing basketball again. That would be nice. I'd, $28 is so cheap. Do you have and it, it too? And it's, and it's zero that, contract. That is, I have Blue Shield. Oh, you have Blue Shield. I don't know. I might have Blue Shield. I don't know. I might have got that backwards. Too. I'd have to. I'll need to double check. I, I thought Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield was the same thing. No, no, no. Faith has uh, Blue Shield and it sucked. Oh, oh, oh no. no. Blue Uh-oh. Shield is Looks for like poor. me, Colin, and, or me, Joe, and Faith are going to be going I, to the gym. I had the ultimate pores uh, insurance before this one. Mm. And I didn't even get myself this one. My mom went to phone war with people to get me my current insurance. But <laughs> um, I had an Oscar insurance which is when I had no money at all. Like, it was the <laughs> cheapest insurance you could possibly uh-huh. get. Yeah. So, like, when you go to the doctors, you're like, do you have insurance? You're like, yeah. And they're like, what is it? And you show them the card. They're like, dude. <laughs> they're like, they're like we're, we're going to stack another 50 bucks on your copay for even like, showing yeah, you we this. we have to charge you $50 just to type all the numbers on this card. Yeah, not good. I was on Oscar bronze. <laughs> Damn, well, that's not even silver. Yeah, I was like in, in last place yeah. in the D League pretty much. I've, I've already complained about this hundreds of times, but for 11 they i get it that if i stop working i still keep my coverage for like multiple months but i pay 11 dollars an hour out of my check for health insurance that's insane yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. so still crazy uh, nuts. yeah let's do let's do a little bit of math on that how much health insurance money i'm paying each year so 11 times 40 <laughs> it's 440 dollars a week wow that's crazy oh, oh. Times Wait, pause, pause, equals. pause. Okay. Pause, pause. It, were, it's, uh, it got unplugged. Okay. <clears throat> and clap. All right, boys. We're back. Um, wow. So you were bitched about to where tell us we about last how much left money off. I was talking about how I, turns out I pay $20,000 a year for health insurance. Wow. Whoa. And when I went on the website today to look and see if they gave me a free gym membership, which I was all gassed up about, saving fucking twelve dollars a month, mm-hmm. uh, uh, it was like usage this year one hundred and eleven dollars. So I better be getting fucking cancer soon, so I can bankrupt these motherfuckers. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. Did do you get a gym membership? Uh, for twenty eight bucks a month, I can go to any gym in the world, even Dubai. Wait, you have to pay extra? Even more? Just $28 a month for a gym membership that lets you go to any gym, basically. I was, I I was telling Dubai Joe, part. we're planning a Vegas trip. I can't wait to go to the Win. Win pump use, is going to be unparalleled. Use the gym at the Win. <laughs> the Win gym. That's yeah. going to be nice. We're going to be looking 
prim and proper. We're gonna, yeah, we're going to go fucking get a quick pump. I'm going to spend all day in there. Shower off. Hit the pool. Go back. All to pumped. Pump, plump the thing that pumped. sucks is it's going to be cold. What are you talking about? Be like 60 in Vegas. Man, shut what? up. It's going to be 80. I'm for real. 89 nah, degrees. It's going to be 90, <laughs> maybe be even 94. 100. <laughs> We're going to be toasted out there. We're gonna it's not going to be too hot, yeah. though. No, not at all. <laughs> I mean, nice as fuck. I'm actually going to be at a museum. You wish it was going to be 60 degrees, but it's not. Yeah. <laughs> you wish. I'm going to turn the, the take the six, turn it upside down. It's a nine now. Hell yeah. I mean, 90 degrees at the wind pool. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Those were bu- the bars. We're, we're manifesting. That's a drizzy shit. That's why I'm drizzy for life because he supplied me with bars I can actually okay. use. Uh, I when I when I was doing my research on the Drake Kendrick beef, mm-hmm. uh, I listened to first person shooter and he was talking about so many bitches in my phone. Back, th- I pack them in there like sardines or something like that. Hell yeah, <laughs> shit's so fucking funny. Love Drizzy. <laughs> Love Drizzy. She sent in purple hearts because she know that we a war. Yeah. <laughs> that's a, that's almost him. like uh, David Allen Coe says I should get the purple heart for loving you <laughs> that's good that's yeah. good too that's yeah. that sounds like Drake stole that from that guy probably yeah Drake's a good th- stealer yeah yeah Drake will hop on anything that's upcoming and trending did Isn't you that, did that's you, like the craziest thing I don't know if he, he knows this about work, Drake dude. but anytime there's like a new uh Buzzing way, artists dude. in 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 the hip hop scene, mm-hmm. and they have a hit song. He just remixes it. Yeah, he just <laughs> like hops jumps on. jumps on it. And then, so they, that way, and then their so career that goes he, nowhere. Yeah, and th- so that way he can sun them if they ever betray him. If, <laughs> right, if right, they right, ever yeah. like speak out against him in the future, he can be like, "I was there. The, the things I did for your career is." <laughs> I like, like how you 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 your accent changed. You went from like normal career. like black accent to like Drake. You remember like your career, your <laughs> career. Yeah, yeah. He's just his voice is just weird. It it was never cool. No, you know that's the fascinating he thing kept, about Drake. He kept is he's winning. never been cool the whole time. He, yet he's still like kind of unstoppable. It like doesn't admit, even matter. He's cringe. When I, when, so the whole thing is uh basically the you know the top 3 rappers in the game by by the time this comes out there knew, may be a response I knew response. he would cover this for us there may be a response but the whole thing is that like J Cole Kendrick and uh Drake are like the top 3 dude J Cole is and not even J. in the Cole top 3 J Cole fucking is not even like and Kendrick, just, I, Kendrick Lamar doesn't even do anything anymore so I don't know like what we're talking about honestly I mean we're we're going to see I mean this is a big sh- big shot was fired. So this is let's just sit back and enjoy ourselves because hip hop has not been interesting since the year 2017. And I've been saying this for a while in 2017. Shit was going down all the time. I started watching academic. I'm like watching academics videos every day right now. And shout out academics. He's like, <laughs> shout out academics. Academics is shout out that actual fat the f- idiot academics. No, shout academics out. is a genius. No, he is not. He's a fucking genius. No, he is most. De- he's many things. A genius is not one of them. He's, he's fucking hilarious. Listen, he's he's funny sometimes, but he is he, not a genius. He's not a genius. He's pretty much brightest. a fucking genius. Dude, if if like if he was a big Trump fanboy, he might even be, but Trump, you know Trump likes everybody that likes him. We said mm-hmm. that. Trump wouldn't even co-sign him. Fucking that's, Drizzy co-signs academics, bro. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh they're my like God, friends, that's terrible. but all the rappers are fake friends with academics, but um <sighs> whatever. Really? Yeah, I mean, there, dude. Did you see what he bodied Meek Mill so fucking hard? Like, you should watch the, the academics versus Meek Mill beef coverage. I saw the, I mean, I saw the Twitter stuff, but it's like, uh, I mean, he was kind of a uh, academics was kind of picking a winning battle there. I would say. Yeah, but he he had to resun him because he he had already he, he was already as he said he was already <laughs> three and zero oh in rounds. Who are you talking? What are you doing right now? Resun. Okay, they their beef goes way back. And <laughs> ac- beef review. I'm not this doing it. Not, that I'm not Collins beef review. Wait, this no, is no, an no, idea no, no, we no. had to like yes. rehash old internet beef. Oh, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not gonna do that. But just type in like the downfall of Meek Mill academics reaction 
enjoy that for yourselves if you give a shit. I'm not going to fucking do it because it's not going to be good. Okay. Because basically, I would know just your be shit saying than, what, the, what I saw on that video when I that I was listening to while I was filling out paperwork at work. I need you. I need you more committed. If we're gonna make it off, make it out of the hood <laughs> <laughs> with, with World Genius, I need you to do real research okay, for your the, beef reviews. Yes, uh, I. Will, I don't want but... you reciting what fucking Mr. Cheesecake Factory academics. Is fucking uh, saying in his YouTube videos. I clicked on one of his things. He just uploads his entire live streams. He uploaded a video that was three hours long. I was in the fucking parking lot of a grocery store eating like a wrap. And I, I turned on this video and he's like, oh, hold on, guys, one second. My dog's acting up. And then he, <laughs> he left the room. And this is on YouTube. This isn't a live stream. He left the room. And, and is, video is playing a, a, a video of this white guy talking about a rap beef yeah. who was way more be interesting than academics was. <laughs> I thought, I was like, wow, this guy's covering everything very concisely. Yeah, that Canadian guy. That's yeah, that, that, that dude was cool. He put, and then like, then in the background of the video, I hear like his dog like squealing, <laughs> like going, Wee! like as sounding like he was being beaten. <laughs> And then he Hell comes no. back in the room. He's like, sorry about that, guys. I had to deal with my dog. I'm like, what? And he didn't ever address it. Like, what did you do? And he left this in a YouTube video with 300,000 views on it. I was like, what did you just do to that animal? And Ned just doesn't fucking address it, I guess. That is he funny. does. He does seem like he probably would abuse animals based on how he fucking talks about women yeah, as well. Yeah. He says females yeah. all the time. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. like, he's, <laughs> he's, uh, females. I'm like, dude, you are so He's fucking... hilarious, but I don't like fucking look up to him. Like, I don't. No, he's a not, doesn't seem like a very good dude. You yeah. know, guys, uh, Stand up guy when he calls women. Oh females. my god, dude! He's like, seemed that. like it was yeah, some kind was, of like problem over females. He was yeah. bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he, he goes, he goes, the way these, he talks guys, about these guys that? share females all the time. Like, it can't be possibly be. We can't not get what what is the what is the future in Drizzy tape called? Uh, uh, what a time to be alive or something yeah, like that. Yeah, you know, he's you like, know. we can not, we can not get, we can not not get what a time to be alive too because of some shit over females. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He he acts like arguing about women is like uh, like arguing about I don't know like, like fucking trading them. Pokemon cards or something. Yeah. Just like very lowly. <laughs> yeah. He's like acting like it's like a dispute over ordering like the wrong but, pizza but, or something. But, but he has a good point. Or he made a good point where he was he was saying uh like all the rappers fuck the same bitches. Like, <laughs> like you know every what? rapper goes for like the that same is a good chick. Point. They all like have that that chip on their shoulder where they're like, oh, he fucked that chick. I need to see if I can fuck that chick too to validate my existence. That's a cr there are that's a crazy, that's a crazy way of thinking about it. But there are dudes who think like that. There's a guy who I who who I knew kinda or I did know him, and then like. Uh, he's he lives in New York and like all these dudes that he thinks are cool, he tries to bang their ex girlfriends. <laughs> like that's what he he thinks he can like absorb their dopeness <laughs> by like banging their ex girlfriends. It's that so fucking weird. He's trying to get secrets and shit. Oh yeah, he's trying to get some. <laughs> well, the problem, talking. the the ultimate problem and source of insecurity for these rappers is probably that they're like getting with these chicks that are only with them. Because they're famous, and, mm. and like you those... kind of have to detach the value of a female because they probably <laughs> can, can get swoop a, a woman that's getting with you, and you're a, a female. You're you're a, a high end rap, an A list rapper can <sighs> probably get she can like a high value probably, male. No, any any other rapper can probably swoop in there too. You know what I mean? Okay, so then don't bang these rap obsessed <laughs> that's, chicks. That's where. I was gonna go. That's what I would I mean, probably uh, do. Listening to listening to a lot of rap music sometimes, and the dudes are like, "She only want me for my money." It's like, all right, we'll stop fucking going to Club Clubs. Vixen or whatever, <laughs> yeah, and ordering stop. bottle Vixen. service, stop getting... and trying to look like the most <laughs> alpha dude in there, and then wondering why you have a bunch like banging a bunch of shallow chicks. It just sounds like so dumb to complain about. Yeah, I think if you're going to those places, you're probably in it for pretty much the same reason. It's it's also like it's nobody gets everybody's doing the same thing yeah. there. Everybody's like 
obsessed with like status and trying mm-hmm. to like you know climb the social ladder by fucking whoever. Um, it's like everybody's play, like you know crying about being a victim because you're like famous. Like Drake does that too. He's like, oh, how can I find the one? Oh. Like he'll do shit like that. It's like, dude, you don't never want any not, of that crap. He used to do that, but he doesn't really do it anymore. Now he's just like fucking bitches and cabanas. Yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. That's cool. So the yeah. craziest thing about Drake to me is that he like still gives a fuck about like this the same shit. Like he still cares about the rap game so much, and he still cares about just banging like thick bitches like so much. <laughs> Like, you think he would get fucking fried on that (laughs) shit. No, no, no. Or no, no. He's still, like, so obsessed with, like, respect and, like, you know, banging, like, the newest 21-year-old baddie, like, (laughs) on the blog. (laughs) It's just, it's like, that's a crazy place to just beef. But that's why, apparently, Drake's just a, uh, like, a major fuck boy and yeah, everybody hates him in the rap scene. That's why there's like a whole Well he, he I I heard academics say he like fucks people's girlfriends. Yeah, he's that time. he's like just the shittiest dude <laughs> imaginable. You make a lot Team of Drake. enemies. He's like Team the Drake. ultimate nightmare guy. You make a lot of enemies when you're number one. Yeah, dude. A lot of jealous haters. Well, no, there. he tries to fuck everybody's girlfriend and wife. Sounds like they're just jealous haters, yeah. actually. Like, I wish I could fuck my girlfriend yeah. and wife. <laughs> Damn, Drake did it. <laughs> Shit. Oh. I don't know, we all saw that fucking That's how that, he his floppy schmeat. You He's know what's better than banging the newest 21-year-old baddie? What? Drinking uh, lemon water in oh my backyard. Oh my god, dude. What a segue by yeah. you. Well done. Uh, yeah, dude, we had fresh... I swear to God, I was doing a live stream today. I was drinking a Coke. I was like, this bitch not really hitting. And then I whip. I pulled out the, the, the lemon water that we made earlier. Oh, uh, like it was like hitting crack, dude. I was like rejuvenated. Damn. Yeah, it was, it was better. It was better than Coca-Cola. Yeah. It's really I feel good. like, uh, if DJ Khaled had it, he would really like it. <laughs> oh, he'd it go berserk. Make a, make a, one of those... TikToks. Instagram or TikTok yeah. videos, he'd yeah. be like, "This this lemon water is delicious." <laughs> uh, call it uh, lemon. Got, call it lemonade. This lemon, lemon water, s- lemon, so sweet. Call it. He'd say something l- more disjointed than that. Probably call me a lemon head. <laughs> call, call me. Call you me. Sad. <laughs> the, the Try thing. this lemon water. You put a camera on it. <laughs> Bring out, bring out the lemons. Dude, the thing with DJ Khaled is you can't, you can't create, you, you can never recreate or, or predict his mm-hmm. next movement, mm-hmm. and that's exactly what makes yeah. him so great. We that talked was about that before. But trying to do, no, no, still, it's hard. Uh, it's crazy DJ that he's, is, is, is he like? Because he goes in and out of like mainstream. Tell relevancy. him bring out the squash. Is he is he like <laughs> grinding content like in the off season? Like right now is the off season for him? Or there's, just, I think he probably just burns out on it or something. Is he still? Upload like if I go on his Instagram story right now, is he gonna just be on some know. DJ Khaled shit right now? Maybe none of his shit break? is hitting. Maybe let me see. I really like he's almost like Alex Jones level, yeah, but story. because I saw him make a, a video where he goes, "They don't want you swimming in the water that looks like Listerine." No, so they funny. don't want you, uh, and it's like almost an Alex Jones level conspiracy. No, uh, he's just lip syncing. Getting out of a Maybach. Beautiful. Staring at the sky. That shit must never get old, getting out of that Maybach. Just come upon your head, all right? I don't know. He's not not posting any fire right now. Um, all right. Well, I had an idea, guys. Um, I don't know if you wanted to look at this. I can guys, let us throw- know in the comments if you want us to continue to cover hip-hop. <laughs> okay, anyway. I had an idea. Uh, I kind of uh, toss it on the TV. Um, I was watching soccer highlights and it was the United States of America versus Mexico in the finals, the CONCACAF finals, I believe. Damn. And, uh, the United States won. We're just better than Mexico. The United States won and I didn't like it. I didn't like that the U.S. won. I mm-hmm. don't like the U.S. men's soccer team. I don't like their attitude. They have no swag. I hate their jerseys. 
And more than anything, I was like, dude, Mexico needs to be better than us at soccer. That's yeah, true. Know. Because shit together, we're Mexico. like, you were like, you know, it's just not the right. They, are, they need to have that over us because we have a lot of shit over them. They need soccer. Yeah. And I was depressed. And then I was like, I would like to show you guys the U.S. men's soccer jerseys. And just so I could kind of oh, describe how much I hate yeah. them with you guys. Because they're so cringe. U.S. themed stuff is kind of a bummer. Sometimes it's good. Red, white, and blue is Mango makes pretty lame. America look dope. That's true. All right, here, here's their stuff. Okay, let's just take this one for example. What? Okay. okay. Can't be. Uh, let's see. This would be the worst, like... That's not... That's what they were wearing when oh, they defeated no. Mexico? I don't know. Something like this. I don't know what that they were wearing so specifically. That is so fucking rude. It's... Okay, just the fucking, like, emblem is that font it looks like they, a marvel the, font, the country the font literally really shows how little we care about the sport of soccer it's like you, jesus oh, christ there's there's like no historical kind of like let, let me show you uh, like a counter example let's see mexico soccer well, jersey the thing, okay soccer oh wow that is <laughs> oh, wow. beautiful but yeah. like all right even just like you know say they're the, this emblem. So nice. Let's see. Uh, open a, a new tab. Open, open image. Open image. I mean, open that looks image. like a soccer jersey. Well, it's this. Damn. I think the emblem is like so important. Like it looks like there's a story. You know, they've got the eagle perched up on a, like a ladybug or That's something beautiful. going on in there. Like it's it's nice. It's a cute little cartoony soccer ball. It's, it's Dude, classy. That's, that's why I was saying we should review the Premier League fucking logos. We can, but I just want to say, look at the juxtaposition between this and this. Ah! It's oh, like God. a it's like commercial. It's so fucking commercial. There's no Ugh. passion in their branding. Yeah, it looks like a fucking like it looks like a volleyball team. <laughs> it really does. Yeah. It does. It's, yeah. so it, it's like volleyball or water polo tier logo. Oh god. It's it's just it's so fucking and, and wrong. This is this is like a serious problem that sports are having with these alternate jerseys and it's all just for fucking money. They they have all they do it like in the NBA you'll never see uh like a traditional home jersey versus a traditional away jersey because they're selling so many jersey by doing jerseys by doing these like right. city nights. Yeah, I hate all that shit. Bullshit. They wear a different fucking jersey every night just so they could get their sales up. This you never see one, like a classic, clean looking game of basketball anymore. It's <sighs> almost impossible to look at. I agree. Yeah, the courts they're doing and shit are so. Ugh. Just, they just at- ruined the, the whole aesthetic of the game. Let me oh, sh- beautiful! Look at this. The England yeah, one is beautiful. so their logo, the three so lions, badass. so three sick. Three lions, that's so, so beast. That's what that's what one. they're called. They're called the three yeah. lions. So cool, so beast, dude. It just like looking at that, you could just practically see like a knight with that on his shield running yeah. into battle. Pro- it's pride, you know. You can be proud of that. This this says Walmart. You can't be proud of what that. that fucking says. I, I don't that. feel proud when I see this I can't, at all. I cannot root for the United okay, States. Go back. Let's see if they have a single good jersey. Let's see if we can find this one. This isn't uh, as bad. Uh, it kind of looks like a NASA, NASA font. Yeah, that's NASA No, that's font. Sega. That's a Okay, clean, Sega, yeah, there's, that's true. There's like the rocket popsicle one this, that sucks. This one? No, the bottom bottom right. Oh yeah, I clicked on that no, one already. Yeah. Stupid. Do that. I mean, like an EDM music video. Oh, dude, I hate all their players dude, too. The Look at this just guy. Bad too. Look at this. Fucking Why would you put it on the center too? I, I don't just like don't that. believe that those guys are. And great this, athletes. this is their star player, Christian Pulisic, dude. This guy is such a little cock, man. Look at his haircut. Yeah. He kind is the worst. Let me show you. Like, uh, let me show you guys the England goalkeeper. I just feel so much pride for England when I see this dude. That's a he real has bloke. all of these stupid tattoos on his arms too. He just he literally he looks like a bloke, like some yeah. guy you'd fight with at the bar. Yeah, I'm like that's so badass. That's pretty um, cool. Yeah, no, the, it's just John like Pickford. they're they're so the fucking U.S. men's soccer team. Is, uh! They're so unlikable. Their mm. attitude stinks. They have a stinky attitude. Yeah, they finally got one guy that's kind of decent, and they're like, yeah. we're, we're supposed to 
that's supposed to be inspiring to us that we have one guy that's starter caliber in another country. I can't fucking believe that they, they Mexico, beat Mexico. Jesus yeah. Christ, Mexico, man. for all of our sakes, you need to fucking the <laughs> Second Amendment. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. that's, that's so funny. Make sure you save that. <laughs> Make sure I save that. <laughs> All right. And buy it. That is funny. Right. Well, we well, well, you know where to find it. All right. Whoa. Oh, there he is. Wow. <laughs> that's who's buying them. Very cool. Very yeah. nice. Oh, Ooh, the butt. Whoa, pick. whoa, nice. my lordy, nice. lord alive. Auga. Yeah. All right. That's what's up. There's yep. Hey, this jersey's pretty fire. Yeah, that's all right. The old school shit. That not guy bad. Kind of cool. Yeah, they, we just we we need some help, guys. Our shit is fucking ass I'm backwards, so, man. We like, need new colors. I'm so Let's not convinced orange. that we're ever gonna be good at soccer. Oh, these are the different logos. None of these are good. The U.S. soccer one's kind of cool. That's the but that's not even tight though. They're using yeah. like an ugly soccer ball. I don't know, man. I like. Yeah, the bottom right and the bottom right's like, the best. In I my just opinion. don't yeah. think this that just looks like we shoot shape people. Just is working for us. Like, no, it's this, not. The new one square. literally looks like a Marvel Captain America. We should bullshit. just do USA in the shape of a gun. A gun we should, yeah. yeah, we should do a gun. Yeah. That'd should be like, badass. That would just be. use the Let's Yankees logo it. or something. <laughs> the Yankees <laughs> logo. <laughs> 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 New York. That's our shit. Way cooler. That would be fun. Oh. Look at this fucking guy. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Get out of here. Well, that's basically all I wanted to. Uh... Yeah. I've got I, I've got a segment. Okay. You want to send me some shite? I did. I texted it to you. Oh, you did? Yeah. Let's see here. Rios Johnny. Oh, no. Okay. All right. Let me. Uh... I've been looking for forward to this. We had to skip. Recording. Oh, so man. I wanted to see what <laughs> tattoos. Oh were. no! So well, the Colin <laughs> one. The Colin one's kind of better first because hey. I I did Colin's first, and I was like, I can kind of picture the kind of <laughs> tattoos Colin would have. Joa, you can. Joa doesn't have like a, no tattoo energy here. No mm. tattoo energy. So I just gave him no. some. Some trendy 2014. <laughs> I kind of like the paper airplane one. Yeah, that one's sort of my vibe. <laughs> yeah, mustache. Finger. Is this a Harry Potter That's thing? The Deathly Hallows. That's yeah. fucked up, dude. You gave me the Deathly Hallows, a lightsaber and a mustache. <laughs> you gave me like a guy who like drinks Soylent every day. I thought tattoos. it was funny. Yeah, I that thought is it was hilarious. Funny. Now, Colin, on the oh, other hand, man, Colin, this works. I it, want that. <laughs> this, you look like a tattooer as you well. You look like you fucking do construction, man. Or that too. I look like like it really matches the amount of weathered I have on my face. You look like you and Nathan would have a fire combo. Damn. Looks kind of cool, right? Damn. I've been but really like looking forward to showing you this. I've uh Yeah, where should I start? <laughs> Probably the face and the, the cross. Hand. Can I have a beer so I can chase this thing? Yeah. You got to get it. Uh, Where does a man start with his tattoo journey? At usually by 28? next to the eyeball. Upper arm. Ow, fuck. I'm not far away from just full sending it. But you could get the 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 fake having a lot of tattoos look where you just get your hands and your neck <laughs> and your face and then you just wear a hoodie all the time. And you look like you're blasted. Oh, <laughs> I would get a lot more respect on in the field. Mm -hmm. Oh, you yeah, just you, get, you look like yeah, you'd you stab just someone. This, you just get this all the way down your neck and your face, and then you're fully tattooed in ninety percent of wow. people's eyes because they're only going to see you. I like sure fate. On, you know? I look good with a face tattoo. Yeah, well, faith didn't fit on his fingers, you know, so I put fate. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> babe. The rose. Uh, you gave him some smart guy tattoos here. Is this the Team USA emblem <laughs> on his fucking neck there? I thought something America themed would be good. So it's kind of like a shield with wings, you know, a little eagle action vibe. Cross, you look great, man. Some Thanks. rays. Wow. You look fucking awesome. Give me I, things I, to think about. I wish I could see what was over That's here. That's a, a sword. Can you text that to my mom? <laughs> <laughs> hey, mom, thinking about like, well, yeah, I'll this do started it. out because. I, I was describing to my mom the face tattoo that I wanted to get. So I drew on 
kind of loosely what I want to get mm-hmm. on, tattooed on my face. And and then I was like, I should draw Colin some tattoos as well. That's a good idea. And then it turned into this. And then I tried to think of things to give you. <laughs> I just thought of 2014. Joe seemed like tattoos. a guy that could have gotten tattoos. Like, didn't do it. You would have been like a PewDiePie type tattoo kind of guy where you like got things. <sighs> See, that you this liked is this is you. this is exactly why I don't fucking have tattoos because there's types of guys with tattoos, yeah. and I just personally feel that I'm not a type of guy. A lot of the time, like every uh, people online when they talk about, it, they're like, "Oh, he's like." You know, he's probably like, you know, he's from Orange County, so he's probably a fucking fascist and he's white. Mm-hmm. Like people say that shit. And then there's another guy on fucking Instagram live there like yesterday who's talking about me going like, oh, I bet he wants to have sex with a bunch of transsexuals because he's a liberal lefty. And it's like, Whoa. what am I? Yeah. What? Well, that's why like, you get tattoos. Wh- no, so it's not confused. because yeah. then those tattoos are just going to put me in another box. I don't want to be boxed. I just I want, I just, I want to just be fucking a you free You want to be interpreted you. in every different way. I want, like, I want to be interpreted. I want to have control over the way that I'm interpreted to some degree, you know? Mm, and if I have a fucking Deathly's Hallows tattoo on my forearm, <laughs> I'm not going to be fucking interpreted very well, am I? I would hate you. <laughs> there you go. Isn't it crazy that if somebody had that, I probably wouldn't give them a chance? No, it's not Angus crazy at all. are so insane, dude. Um... Holy fucking shit ball. Is that, that is, him? That's no, him. that is no. not him. That is some really dumb guy. That is crazy. Holy shit. Who would do this? Oh my god, dude. <laughs> you have fucked up so badly and you have no idea. Yeah. You have no that's clue. So upsetting to look at. Oh, it's it's also Mario. like, dude. It would be even like kind of, I think, more acceptable if it was all Legend of Zelda themed. Yeah. But you got the most random dumbasses <laughs> like, on what here. What is that like? You border? got Doctor like, Mario. What is the tattoo in the shape of? It, you just I don't fucking know, dude. These people, they don't want to do like a like a full body or something, so they just do these like geometric things, and it's just cringe. Um. Where is his? Uh, th- these are some of my favorite tattoos, though. If I can, if the they're fox and falco. Yeah, where are they? Uh, you, that shirtless photo, you would probably see him. Yeah, where? they're on his shoulders, right Look here. At that picture. I mean, yeah, but he's kind of like pointing in the way of them. I think the placement on these is so badass. <laughs> it is really, and that funny. they're they're pointed to <laughs> each other. I no, I genuinely because and he dual mained these. I like as far as video game tattoos go. I mean. The, it's Not all bad. about it's all about like the see the this one next to it it's like this over engineered piece of shit yeah you know where fine. it's like oh look at let's make sure we get all the shadows right well, and then we'll also, have a big Ganondorf also, head he does <laughs> look it, at these they're so he does cool. it right because he has like normal tattoos sprinkled in like they're all not like weird gamer. Something yeah, that can, means something to a gamer. You can't have a hundred percent gamer tat. He's also just kind of cool. Mango's always been kind of cool. Yeah, Mango's fucking dope. So like, obviously, he's gonna fucking just have like the innate understanding of what's cool and what's not. And he, like, I don't know. If I was gonna get tattoos, I'd just copy Mango. Get a fox and falco on my Dude, arm. I talked to the one time when I was working at the uh, in Fullerton. I went to Chipotle, and. This guy like talked was like, oh, like I like your tattoos, and he's like, where'd you get them? I was like, oh, like I work down the street at Classic Tattoo, and he goes, oh, uh, do you know? Do you play League of or have you heard of League of Legends? And I was like, yeah, mm-hmm. heard of it. Uh, I play, and he goes, spent a lot of oh, money really, on it, dude. I want, I want to. Uh, I was thinking about getting a ta- uh, League of Legends themed tattoo. I was like, oh. Cool. You shouldn't do like, that. Where were you, where were you gonna get? And he goes, I wanted to get a thresh hook wrapping around my arm all oh the way my down. God. Can you imagine? That is dude? so insane to have for the rest know, of your life. I know, dude. Also, dude, you have one fucking bad game on Thresh that's so bad <laughs> that you don't like the character anymore. And then what? You're gonna peel your fucking skin off? <laughs> so funny. Thresh, oh okay, gosh. but in his defense, Thresh is probably the one most of, tattooable one of the lead ones. character. Because yes. yeah, Thresh is actually cool, you know? Like, his character design's cool, his aesthetic is 
is kind of dope. Yeah, you don't want to get a fresh tattoo. Any tattoo. Yeah, if you get <laughs> one of those like new characters whose Q does nine different Hold things. On. Look at what what's the fuck is that guy's hand tattoo? That is insane. Where? Down, right below your cursor. Are you this thing? Recording? Yeah, I am. Yeah. Below your okay. cursor. Down. This? Left. This? Yes. Is that Jin? No, that's, that's Silco. Silco. He's Who got, the fuck is Silco? It's from, from Arcane. Arcane. Oh my god, shut this the is fuck. Another, that's the worst tattoo ever. This is another it's really, really stupid thing that bad <laughs> tattooers do is they'll just put like blue background. Like what what the fuck is that? It's just that's a bunch unbelievable. of blue behind you. Yeah. It that will n not look good unless there's Ten thousand dollars poured Dude, into I would fixing be the out so around bummed it. Bummed if I saw that happening on my hand. That is so. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? How Can much you imagine wait, just looking at that happen to your hand? How much would someone have to pay you to have this tattooed on you forever? Dude, it's such a. It's it's like such Probably a non iconic looking character. Three hundred thousand dollars. Dude, Holy yeah, fuck, that's crazy. Like minimum, yeah. minimum. I would have to be able to take a couple years off work. That would yeah. that would ruin a lot yeah. of stuff for you in your life. <laughs> yeah. Like there were many romantic prospects and <laughs> and friends that would not hang out with yeah, you anymore. Would, it would lower that your is life really quality. depressing. Oh, Timo's a good tat. That Never is. underestimate underestimate the power of the scouts Never code. Never underestimate Dude, the power of the scouts. Bad code. tattoos are just fucking insane. Yeah. Oop, that got deleted, I guess. Um, League of Legends is is not. Ooh, we got a puffle. Poro. What is it? Poro. That's horrifying. This one's pretty sick. There's just like hundreds of bad. thousands of people with gamer themed tattoos. Out Holy there. Christ! Oh my god! You got is the he fucking, fucking that Poro. You got He's the fucking that Poro. Splash art, He's dude. Got negative arm definition. He's Japanese. That's a, probably a woman, maybe. <laughs> Ew. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, that what the look, fuck? That did not heal well. No. These full color. This is a girl's leg. Style. Dude, yeah, God, God created women and he wanted them to be, you know, you know, fine and and you know, beautiful and and you know, fragile. <laughs> And and then they go and they put they do this they put Nico on their thighs full color portrait style you're spitting in the so face bad. of the Lord so, so awesome bad. oh my God ah this is what Johnny would do to me <laughs> Poro with the mustache, mustache. Poro. So oh cool. my God oh. that's better than any of them I've that's seen that before. That is that is so than... crazy League of that Legends cool. riot. <laughs> That is cool. <laughs> the Riot the logo kind of goes hard, dude. The Riot logo is cool. It looks it, good. I don't think that's their logo anymore. I think they changed no, it. No, but that one looks that, nice. They yeah. fucked up. That's they probably, because they all got canceled for like, you know, all their bad behavior. Yeah. They probably wanted appendix. to remove the fist from their <laughs> logo. Right all right. There. Another fun one. Ninja has cancer. <laughs> no, that one's not funny either. That um, one, that one is that like I said on the live stream. That one's so random that it, uh, it's kind of it's like a pretty big bummer. Yeah, you know, I was like, dude, I don't want Ninja to have cancer. What the fuck? He just wants to game and dance. Like Ninja too. You know, I, when I think about Ninja, like I see a guy who has been so popular. He's probably lived a really fucking like stressful life and people are like, oh, he made a bunch of money so it like, doesn't matter. But like, you know, I think he's probably made money to a certain a degree where, you know, it maybe hasn't even been like that worth it. And people are always trying to like shit on Ninja or like throw him into some kind of like controversy or something. You ever notice that? I'm like, yeah, I can... everyone's always trying to fucking cancel Ninja. It's like, why? What yeah. the fuck did they... And then it, the guy gets it, you cancer? You know what it is? You know what <laughs> it is? Jesus Christ! It's, it's these people with young audiences. I feel like the audiences get two years older than they were when they liked the person and then they go fuck that person you still uh, like that guy you're an idiot you're a baby uh, yeah, Mac yeah. DeMarco syndrome you're a baby yeah, we yeah, talk yeah, about that like all that. the time you when when, when scrubs of... from our high school you, like were obsessed with Mac DeMarco and then they like grew out of their phase mm. and then his new album came out and they're like fuck Mac DeMarco it's like the new album's actually fire it's fine Dumbass. it's fine and you no, just the new, hate it his album was good 
Yeah, this old dog. This old one. dog is a hit. Shout um, out back to Mark. He's yeah. kind of a cringe dude, but that was yeah, a good album. That, that our, our take is aging a little bit worse. <laughs> well, at the time, it it was it was it, it's still a good album, but yes. I just mean you know like people yeah. people were too into him. It's okay, and then they were embarrassed about it's, how it's into okay him they to were. Have liked and then something. and then they blamed him for how into him they Whoa. were. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, it wasn't his fault. He was so cool that you guys like ninja. based your entire personality on him. Just like Ninja. Just like it's Ninja. It's not Ninja's fault that you dyed your hair purple and wore a headband to school. Okay? Blue. Blue. He just and had also, that. also uh, 100 Gex, kind of same vibe, right? I love 100 Gex, and I will But n- people like, never like moved on and hated them, and then they had another good record, right? Mm-hmm. There, there were some good okay. songs on, on the... I mean, the, the, I 100 Gex is kind of... I, I just know that that's kind of the... The the, well, the story. I think they people were so into them, and and they were like successful in in a genre that's kind of I don't want to say controversial, but like has been seen to like be kind of like a blip on the grand scheme of things. Like hyper pop has such like an aggressive and grating sound that I don't I don't think people were like, oh, this is going to last very long. And I think they knew that. So they tried to like switch up their sound a lot for the next record. And uh, they did some interesting stuff well, on they it. Went but with, it like, it's like a song from every genre yeah, it, ever. It sounded like they were trying to like, they were too aware almost of like what the criticism would be against their new shit. Yeah. So they kind of like tried they, to distance themselves too much from it to the point where I was like, you know, I feel like maybe Wait, something that maybe, sounded a little maybe, bit like the old stuff would have just been okay another, with me. Maybe we could have just used another classic banging hyper pop album. <laughs> that's that's kind of what I, I mean. That's sort of what I'm what I'm saying. The first album was so fucking sick. It's and a good album. There's some there. There's still songs that that's, I like on that. Like when I'm driving in the car and it's like nighttime. That's I like. And if I remember to put them on, like that's. This is my katana. Sorry. Okay. That was so spooky. Uh, still, like you know, one of the best things you can you can th- that I can that I throw on like through the through car speakers might be good workout music. Maybe could be could be. We I haven't, haven't even tried, tried it yet. We haven't In tried. a garage, I haven't tried it yet. yes, outside of a garage. Oh yeah, not no. not let the neighbors hear. Yeah, no. Yeah, probably there's not. two different types of music. Actually, there's three: garage music and not garage headphone music, music garage music. And outside music, <laughs> three genres of music. <laughs> What's headphone music? Um, it's kind of like you listen to like a song you Eminem. like, and then you go to U- and then you go to YouTube yeah. and you start listening to a YouTube video, and then you start weightlifting again. You go, <laughs> I need a song again. This YouTube video sucks. And then you go back to music, and then you go. Do you you know ever, what? I need to do an audio book. I haven't done an audio book. Do you ever in a while. think about how much you like? are on your phone and like list like just in taking information when you don't need to be yeah. some i I've, i had this recently i was yes, like so i was bad. on my phone i was like doing something in the kitchen and it like it just adds a fucking extra step to everything like, i was like well to to do the dishes i, I need, need to have this playing in the background and yeah, i'm I was like, like pissed off I was like, when my girlfriend's like in the kitchen with me when i'm doing i'm like babe i don't mind doing the dishes if i can watch a motherfucking youtube video <laughs> But you need to stop trying to talk to me because that makes it way more boring. <laughs> well, what basically what I was saying is you it adds like another step of like difficulty and like frustration to what you're doing. Like, I need to find the right YouTube, but you actually don't. You can you, just you know do, what you, you need can to just do? do it. Colin, shut the fuck oh, up. I'm sorry. You can just do it in silence. Uh uh-uh. uh. You no, you can. No. And no, if no. you just tell yourself that you might no, enjoy it, oh, you can. I can't I'm do telling it. you. I can't. You can do no. it. No. Okay, okay. Um You can. And sometimes it's better. No. Here's my here's, That's the other here's thing. my no. frustration. I just I'm so ready just to delete all of the social media, but I still need I still need Twitter. No, you don't. I still fucking need Twitter no, for sports news. The fuck I watched the kid get run over I need by to, a car. I need on to track. Get the fucking I need to track into your house. NFL free agency in real time. <laughs> oh my god! And if I can't, what am I going to fucking do all day, dude? I I was actually I wrote this down. 
crazy we're talking about phone stuff. The new phones, they don't turn off. The new phones. <laughs> they don't they don't turn off. They never the screen These doesn't go phones. black. They're just trying to steal more of your attention by always off. having you mean the there, phone. You mean on. there's no the when the, the lock screen isn't black. No, yeah, it's just yeah, the, you can turn that off. Yeah, but it's default to but always I, I, being I know, on mine forever. Is, mine is that way. I mean, the idea is that so, I mean, I think that's probably how they presented it. The idea probably is so that you don't have to hit the button to see what time it is. But, no, I, I'm not disagreeing with it, you. It's the, 100% the to just steal thing more of your attention. Is so that you, when, when it's on your desk, you go, well, why does iPhone care yeah. about getting more of your attention? They already, they already got you locked in they, for life. They get more money the more attention that is spent on your phone. I think it's probably more about just generally having control over the person that is buying their product, you know? Like, just the more info you put into it, the more time you're on it, the more they know about you, the more you're their bitch. God, I fucking... I'm gonna... When, when, you're, when you're out of serotonin, the, the phone becomes a stressful object. My phone's been stressing me the fuck out okay, recently. Okay, okay, what can we do? And... By the, by the way, if you, you guys want to follow, if you dude. guys want to follow up on the the restriction thing, I just like live with that shit now. Like the <laughs> check engine light that's on that I'm ignoring. <laughs> like I just go, oh my god, I have to extend my one hour break again. <laughs> like <laughs> every time I open, the, it's just part of my ritual of using my phone. There's just an extra hurdle every time I open an app. I have to extend my uh, restriction I put why, on for myself. Why? I don't understand why that can even happen. If like you're putting, a can you make that not not? Is that a full lemon in your soup? It's a lime, actually. What if I have an? Emergency? Why is it yellow then? My lime tree. What, 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 what's oh, the what's the limes. next option? I make it so I have to go into settings to extend my Dude, time on you Instagram. Need to, you got you need to get off the fucking phone, Colin. Yeah, you, you need to get off and my you, you need to just be content so for a second. Baked. It's, no, but dude. It's I, not too late for you, bro. I actually <laughs> had a very It's not too late. I was super fortunate when I worked with my when I uh, couldn't look at my phone all day at work. But now sitting down a lot, looking at my phone most of the day. Uh yeah, it's just Dude, cooking cooking the brain. You, you need to brain. leave it in your car. Whoa. I do I do. I can't. I literally use my phone for work. Uh Yeah, fucking right. Bro. To do what? Take pictures. Tag them. <laughs> tag I'll show them? you what I do. <sighs> I don't I don't want to know. Don't show Did me. Did you guys nothing. see any of the conspiracy theories around the boat bridge, the bridge thing? Mountain View High School building nurse's office evap coil. Wow. Nice font choice. Well, that's that's nice. Good you thing. should post those on Inst you should make an Instagram. Yeah, for that. I, I, I think I think so too. That's yeah. nice. That's El Monte cool. El Monte Evap coils. Uh, yeah. Evap coils of El Monte. <laughs> Evap. No, just just call in work update. That'd be, That'd be nice. Oh, how about see that? What you're doing. That's good too. It's just Yeah, dude. That's just got a reading cool. of 82 degrees. That's nice. <sighs> Um, Colin, uh, judging by the news you intake, you should be most informed on what went down with that boat that crashed into the bridge. Uh, What's the latest and greatest? I heard it was because of diversity hires. I heard, yeah, I heard it was a bunch of fucking <laughs> ta Taiwanese they put on there. <laughs> And because they're cheap, and then they the 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 boats that they make are manufactured really cheaply, and they have one backup generator. And if that backup generator uh, fails, then they lose contru complete control I heard, uh, Pete, over the boat. Pete, Let me fucking finish my fucking story, man. They lose control over the backup generator. If that dies, then the whole thing, you, and then you can't throw the anchor down because the anchor is like electronic. It's <laughs> what the controls for the anchor is probably electric. No, no, I was gonna say the anchor is just not heavy enough. Oh, really? It can't stop oh, a ship a of that size. They, they use they use their iPhones to yeah, start saw, and stop the that. ship. Now I heard that. I but no, Fox News is peddling like like they're trying to make it into like a an immigration problem. 
Oh my uh, god. Uh, or like diversity hire problem. That's like actually psychotic. The, they it's turned not... it into like a, a meritocracy debate. I think it was like it was an international. It was like an international crew. All those ships are international. That's anyway. the those, funniest feel, part. those guys were hired because they're it's cheap labor. That's the funniest part I mean, about it's it. It's possible that, like, that they were underqualified, but that has nothing to do with <laughs> diversity. Our country they're or, trying to figure out how to blame it on Biden, which I thought was hilarious. Fucking damn, leave it in. Are we starting the game? Yeah, do it, pussy. You're not gonna make it this time because you don't get to cheat. Oh, look how bad he is when it when when it's actual game time. Watch this. When it's actual game time. <laughs> Genius, Charles to watch Genius. Yes! 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 Y